Well, hello and welcome back to the start of another YouTube video. And on this one is one that I have actually looked really forward to doing, where we have the Anker Sodex kit. Now, what we have going on here is we have their 3.68 power module, more commonly known as an inverter, and two five kilowatt hour battery packs, totaling 10 kilowatt hours of storage. Jason has made a start up on the scaffold on the roof, and I have made a start down the side of the house, mounting our wall bracket, and then we are going to start building up the batteries together. Now, I'm really looking forward to this because I actually think it is one of the best looking battery systems currently on the market. Offers EPS for partial home backup. Unfortunately, it cannot offer full home backup, but EPS for partial home is still a brilliant asset to have. So, come and join me down the side of the house where we're going to start building it up. I've got the wall bracket on, we'll get the batteries on, and then we can look at how it goes together and actually look at the finished product together. A little bit of conduit work to do on this one while Jason is up doing the roof. There is 10 JA435 bifacial panels going on there and they're going to be finished off with solar skirt. The roof is actually perfectly self-facing as well, so should make for an absolute brilliant system. Previously on this house, we have also fitted the Hypervolt which has been performing fantastically. So the customer will be able to use their cheap overnight tariff from Octopus Intelligent at 7p to charge the Anker Solax. The Solax actually fully integrates with Octopus as well. So that is another big plus point for them. So join us along on the journey, see how it goes together, and we will try and show you the finished outcome. So this is where we have elected to put our battery. It's down the side of the house, it's above the gravel. So what we have actually done is elected to use the Anker Solix wall mounted bracket. So these can be wall mounted, they can also be floor mounted, just obviously in this case, we are going wall mounted. You need to make sure that that bracket is perfectly level. So there we go, that is level, so that puts a level on it. What you also have is you also have this. So this is the template and this is the bottom and it also then gives you your drill guide holes to where to put this. So this will then sit somewhere up here and our next battery will hook onto here and then also fix down to this battery which is also fixed down to our base. So everything ends up fixed to the wall, the brace, the floor in three places, four places each. So really quite a secure system and the fact that you get a lovely template with it makes it actually really easy to put on. That basically just sits on there and then I can drill, drill, put my fixings in, comes with anchors to fix it back to, anchor comes with anchors um, and then we can put our next bracket on, our next battery on and then we can look at this side and plug in all of our DC cables, BMS and earth brackets. wall bracket fitted we can then place our next battery on top of it. In our stack. There we go. It's 10 kilowatt hours. We just have our inverter to go in here. Which will look spectacular. Probably going to say this later on in the video but one of the really nice things about the anchor is it is only 150 mil or six inches deep so when it is down the back of the house or down a passageway it really is really really slim line to the wall which makes for a really good tidy install and then the final piece of the puzzle is our inverter. Now just how good does that look? Mwah! Basically now we need to go and put the fixings on that hold the batteries to the base and the batteries together and the inverter to here which is some little brackets up here and then we can start on the wiring of the battery system down the side and then we can start on the AC side which is going to go down in there 
underneath the kitchen plinth to the consumer unit. And then we can also look at getting our DCs straight up this wall to Jason via the loft. Looks incredible though, doesn't it? So that is the battery all wired. So it's really important on the bottom of here, there is a jumper wire to short out the last module of the BMS. We've then got earth leads, BMS link leads, which go from battery one to two, and from power module to battery one. And then we also have our positive and negs that come down. And then we just need to cut these bits of zip tie off. And we can put all these side covers on. This bit of cover down here at the bottom of the wall mount. And that is this side done. Up here we have two. MPPTs, so we could have an east-west split. However, this job is only got one string, which is all self-facing, so we will only be using input number one. However, if we do want to put some north panels on, we certainly could, or we could even actually run some out and put some panels over there on the garage, as well as the right-hand side of the battery. This is the left-hand side, as you look at the front of it, has all of our AC and data connections on, which I'm going to put these covers on now after I cut these little tails of zip ties off and then I will start on the AC side, but going together really nicely. Well then, here we are, while I have been downstairs building up the Anchor Solix, Jason has been up here on the roof. And what you will see, he has got his 10JA435 bifacial panels on, and his bits of rail that are sticking out on the end. Yes, you are right, we could have fitted a panel here and a panel behind us on this end. We could have also fitted the same at the far end. However, the customer does have a budget, as we under always understand, and we have worked to that budget. So 3.68 inverter, teamed really nicely with 4.35 kilowatt peak of solar. What Jason has to do on here now is he has to get that all solar skirted up. So we'll stick that on the time lapse. And then what we'll also go do, you and I, because we currently have Ian and the absolute fabulous Aaron from Anchor Solix here to commission the battery with. So we'll head downstairs, we'll get the battery commissioned, and then we'll have a sit down with the customer. We'll go through the app and we'll show you guys just how the app works as well as, but that is it. I will get the camera up here for Jason and the time-lapse can go ahead for solar skirting up the roof. Well, there you go. We've seen how it goes together. You've watched me build it up. You've watched me build all the battery cables up as well. And although it was time lapse, you've seen it only took us 17 minutes to commission it. Unfortunately, it would have probably took about 15, but I put the, uh, put the password for the Wi-Fi in wrong twice. However, 15 minutes to commission, really, really easy to commission. Super impressed with that. Actually, as a product, I think it's absolutely phenomenal. And we will definitely be offering a lot of these going forward. I think looks wise, they've honestly hit the nail on the head. It's the only battery and inverter that I can think of on the market that isn't a white box. So when we get stuff like anthracite doors and anthracite windows, and more and more of these are living now on the outside of people's houses that are on show, then they have to look good. They can't get away with just being a white box or cables draping between a separate battery and an inverter. They have to be modular, they have to be they have to be sexy and they have to show what the house is doing, which this does all on its own. So super, super impressed with them. And then the fact that they are only 150 mil deep from the wall is another for me, massive bonus. So if this was a passageway, which it kind of is down the back of this house, and we had to get wheelie bins in and out of here, then only being six inches or 150 mil from the wall means we can still get bins down a standard path on a British house. I think other batteries would that sit a bit deeper or sit in other ways round, then they start to limit where we can install them. So 
that for me is a really big USP. The actual slimlineness of it from the wall, as well as actually the colour, that it is much more aesthetically pleasing than a white box. This is a 3.68 one, as we all know. However, they do also have a five and a six kilowatt power module or inverter, and we can go up to 30 kilowatt hours of storage. What we do at that point is though, we do then have a second stack of batteries. So we have another one coming up of these in our next YouTube video. And then we also have some really exciting content down on the farm from Anchor Solix as well. Um, and also, funny enough, one of these to go in our office. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. If you have liked what you've seen and you want a Anchor Solix system for your house, a SIG Energy system, a Tesla Powerwall, or any other brand such as Solar Edge or anybody else, then please do head down to the description, fill out our contact form, and I can take you on your own renewables journey. Thank you very much for watching. Do hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next one.